What are the rights, responsibilities, and roles of the wife towards her husband when it comes to sexual intimacy? She needs to make sure that she protects him from going towards haram yeah. because of her. So what that means is some people will go for haram no matter what you've given them and what you've done for them. But if it is a result of your action or your refusal, for example, without any reason, you would then be guilty in the eyes of Allah of not fulfilling this man's rights to the degree that you share a part of his sin. Awesome. Right? So we won't say that you are guilty of the crime. But you share a part of the sin because had he fulfilled his halal desire, he would not have needed to even consider haram. This is why a lot of the times nowadays you have many feminists who talk and it's open. They say, I don't need to be intimate. What's the issue? The reason is quite simple that this whole issue of you getting married is in order to be able to do certain things in a halal way. If you are going to block that, you are defying the entire purpose of the whole marriage. Why did you get married in the first place? So you would be held liable in the eyes of Allah. Similarly, if it was the opposite way around, women would cry foul to say, listen, this guy's not satisfying me or whatever they say. End of the day, we have to tell him, hey, listen, you need to fulfill the rights. Why is it that when it's the other way around, we think it's okay. He needs to fulfill my rights, but I don't need to fulfill his rights. What do you mean? Yeah. It goes two ways. If there is any woman out there who thinks that I just have a choice completely in Islam, and unfortunately the Islam you're following is not the same Islam that came with the Prophet. So does that mean that women cannot say no when the husband invites her? To and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a woman should never say no to her husband whenever he invites her to bed. Why? Basically, what ignites the desire? Because I go out, I work and mingle with women. A lot of women around wearing tight clothes, yoga pants and whatever. And no matter how much I try to lower my gaze, I'm exposed to a lot of temptations. The Prophet ﷺ said, go home. When you go home and you satisfy your sexual desire with your lawful spouse, then they all become the same. Once you enjoy your sexual relation with your spouse, even if there is a woman in the nude you're not interested, it's about the love, the compassion, al-mawadda, wal-rahma, kisses, hugs, cuddling, saying sweet words. They call it foreplay, by the way. It, it is foreplay. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the hadith is narrated by Umm Salama, who's Umm Salama, one of the Prophet's wives. And she was an older woman, but she still had needs. And uh, one day, she slipped out of bed. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called her back and said, have you started your menses? She said, yep, and that's why she slipped away. He said, come back. Just wrap an izar around your waist, around your waist and down. And then they cuddled, they kissed, they hugged, and they shared bed. So this is permissible? Oh, no, no, not only permissible. Watch this. Whenever a woman is in her PMS, on her period, she is much more in need than the man. And that's why she needs his support hugging, kissing, cuddling in bed, even though there is no sexual intercourse. The romance. The romance. Somebody would say, yani the Prophet ﷺ had already nine wives. I mean, was it really like a pressing need that uh, he has to tell Umm Salama or one of his wives to take off the top and stay with the Izar? I'll tell you why. It wasn't because of him wanted to fulfill his sexual desire because he had other wives. It is because of satisfying Her the design. needs of this wife wow. who's going to be there for seven days in the PMS, experiencing hormonal changes, and she needs this moral support. So this is something that we advise all men. You have to go an extra mile. You have to think about it. When the man comes home and says, leave everything in your hand, come to bed. Hey man, what is wrong with you? I'm cooking. Just take a bath quickly or the perfume. Why? He was about to commit haram. Okay. So now you know that whenever there is a pressing need, you need to fulfill it in halal. What about her? What about her? The thing is you're vocal and you can talk about it. But her shyness, will prevent her from bringing it up. So you have to go an extra mile and don't wait for her to express it. Take the initiative. Keep that in mind. Even if you're tired, even if you're exhausted, you know, you have to be sensitive to her needs. You know, another thing is regarding the build up to intimacy. A lot of men, the complaints we get, two major things. One is there is no build up and two is he does his thing and he leaves us high and dry.
basically. What is recommended even from an Islamic perspective, like Dr. says, the muqaddimat, that thing which leads up to the intimacy is equally important. To say good words, you know, to praise, even in the day, you look at your spouse, it's just you and her, and you just say, wow, you're looking good. And the other way too, a lot of women are guilty of not admiring their husbands to their faces. And in this case, you can use, you know, words that are not used outside, you're looking hot, you know. All these words are very, very important. If you have basically Premature ejaculation. Yes, yeah. You call it premature ejaculation or if you have reached that point of Climate. orgasm, make sure that you don't just plug out until she has also been satisfied. It's a very important factor. A lot of women actually complain and it's so hard for them to talk about it, to say, you know what, what's there in this? I mean, what did I get? I've been married for so, so. And you start thinking, this guy needs help. And so who's going to help him? Because he's a big man. Mm -hmm. Big men don't like to pride. be told yes. because there's a pride, you know? Yes. The catch That's is why you always put yourself in your spouse's position. Whenever you have needs, you call her. Then you need to think about her needs as well and do whatever it takes, medication. There are some aphrodisiac foods, okay, which will stimulate you, perfumes, makeup, whatever. As long as you're using something which is lawful, lawful, halal. You know, some people go to the extreme where they use what is not lawful in order to stimulate themselves or stimulate their partners. We have to put limits and understand that haram is Obvious, yeah. Like pornography, some people want to use porn and they to claim spice no, it's just up to and spice up. Yeah. Absolutely forbidden. Yeah. And subhanAllah, the man will earn double the punishment because he's in a charge for his wife. And a man would allow himself to share with his wife, the mother of his kids, his lawful wife, to view something like that. He's not a man. He's heart. not a man. He is not a man. And the wife has a right to say no in those the, circumstances. The wife has the right to divorce him. If he listen, insists girls, on listen. something like that, but unfortunately due to the widespread of the porn materials easily accessible even on one's phone, some people think this way. And this and is how they go extreme because he wants his lawful spouse to act and function like a prostitute. She's not going to do that. Why? Because she haven't been there. She didn't see what you've been seeing. She doesn't know what you're demanding. So halal is halal and haram is haram. Even in the sexual positions, you know what is lawful is in the orifice where a woman would conceive and have a child. But the rear orifice, 100% untouchable, 100% is unlawful and it is haram. Yes, we receive calls. Some sisters say in private that my husband is trying to convince me in some madahib it is okay to do so. Let me assure you 100% it is not mentioned anywhere by any Muslim that this is lawful. It's filthy, it is dirty, it is disgusting, and it's a major sin which requires punishment and a kafara. But what if the wife is not in the mood? There is a difference between a woman who's been working hard all day or the son didn't go to sleep or the baby or she was putting him or her to sleep and she's really exhausted. Or she's not well, she's sick. And she's not well, she's sick. And a woman who's trying to run away from such a relationship. So she keeps coming up with excuses. If a woman is sick, if a woman is experiencing difficulty or hardship for whatever reason, that's a valid reason. But she was asking the husband for a diamond ring. She wanted to go on a vacation here and there. Or and go said, out with her friends for the night. And he said, can't afford it, or he refused. And now, honey, let's go to bed. She says, no. Like, you know, you, you refused to give me what I wanted, so I will refuse to give you what you needed. In this case, yes, the hadith is definitely applicable. Sometimes the friends, they tell the wife of the guy that fix him, don't sleep with him. Not realizing she's actually doing the wrong thing in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that's not how you fix, you know, someone. No, a woman doesn't have the right whenever she's healthy, whenever she's capable to avoid sharing bed with the husband or if she is upset with him, having a misunderstanding or a discord, to refuse sharing bed with him. And we use the word sharing bed to refer to the sexual relations. If a woman does so, then Allah is angry with her. That is stated in the sound hadith because somehow she is alluring him 
or inviting him to fall in haram. When Allah says something is haram, it's the mercy of Allah. People look at the sheikhs and say, this guy here, you know, he's uh, whatever, he misogynist and he's like this. In actual fact, when Allah has laid law or declared that this is haram or this is punishable, there is always a merciful reason behind it. Always. So a lot of people in today's world, they fall prey to what they watch, what they see, a group of friends who tell them things and they don't realize that system is not actually the system that your faith teaches you.